<laughs> Assalamu alaikum. I want to welcome all of you here to this boardroom. First of all, we want to thank God for the gift of the twins. There are so many people out there who are looking for children, but they cannot get, and they are, they are very rich. But uh, you've been able to be blessed. You know, in the Bible, they say that go out there and reproduce. And exactly that's what you did. And we thank God for those twins. And the fact that you have those twins, those twins are a blessing. Let's not take those children as, as a, I mean, those triplets. Me, I have twins. I'm <laughs> those, she also has twins. Yes. Now, the triplets, we want to thank God for these triplets. And we are very happy that the triplets are, are okay and alive. And we thank God for that. But in a special way, I want to thank Honorable Matembe, who reached me out yesterday and talked to me about the triplets. Honorable Matembe, thank you so much for being a lady who loves humanity. Even when we work here today, we must really think about humanity, about our women outside there, and what about the children. Now that you came and told me about the children, and that's when I said, can we have a look at these babies? And the babies are very, very beautiful, very handsome boys here. We really want to thank God for these babies. And uh, I see you admiring. You want to take what? <laughs> so, Honor Matembe, could you just say what? In hard situations. I want to thank you, Madam Speaker. <laughs> Actually, I had tried to come and see you twice. First, when you had had twins or so, I was excited. I said, let me go and congratulate, but I couldn't. And then these people, I say, I wanted to see you and show you your colleagues. Do you know that now you are colleagues to a speaker? Hmm. <laughs> Having... <laughs> But so when I, I saw you at the church and said, you know, madam, I have a, a problem, and you say, please bring it. I want to thank you, first of all, for welcoming the idea, for welcoming me to come and talk to you about these, these people. And I want to thank God so much, so much, that these, these babies have reached this far. It is only God's blessing. And... This Haj, Haj Karima and he, his wife already have five children, five children at home. And after those five children struggling with them, God said, ah, ah, wait a minute, I'm bringing you now three at a go. And they came when they were premature. I think they were eight months. And then when they were born, of course, they put them in the hospital, in the incubator, and they, they had to spend their, all the money. This man he will tell you what he does. But all the small money they had was exhausted, and they were, for me to come to know them. Is NBS there? Was NBS. I was seated in my sitting room. Whenever I see such things, I get up, I cry. I saw, But when I saw these two, with, with the kids, they were waiting, yelling, saying, you people, we are done, we are finished. The, the children by then were sick. I think when they discharged them, then they gave them milk, <laughs> the fresh milk, and the children fell sick, and they were almost dying, all of them, when they went on that TV. When I saw them waiting, and I said, my goodness, God, what can I do? Then I rang NBS they gave me the number. So that's how I got in touch with this Haj. In fact, the first time I met him, I think he was crazy, I don't know, because when I met him, after greeting him, somebody was greeting me. I had gone to give him some little money for milk to know about them. Then he started running. I looked around, he was not there anymore. I followed him on the street. I said, but you ran away before. I think his head was really disturbed. I gave him some token, I think it was 200 for milk. Then I said I must do something. 
So, but you were decent. What has happened? I so think they have been angry. uncomfortable. They've been here. They didn't come with milk, so I think they, they need to go quickly. Mm. So, that's how I came to know these people. Then eventually, I found their home in Kawempe. Dear members, these people you see, they are in Kawempe. Down there in the Slame area, a small room with five children and then these twins and oh my God. So I started mobilizing with my friends. We mobilized a little bit. We got money. We, 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 I bought mattresses. I bought. So all this time, I've been mobilizing some colleagues. This gentleman asked him, what can I do for? He said, I want to do business. So I managed to mobilize some small money for business. But then he had to pay debts for, <laughs> for the other debts he's been involved in. So up to this time, in fact, some of the members of parliament on the parliamentary circle, I even appealed. Those ones, I think, gave me 300 I took. Then before Christmas, Things were bad. She rang me and said, the children, nothing to eat. Now I run to FIDA. So FIDA managed, women lawyers, they managed to buy all the food, posho, what, what, for Christmas, and up to, up to now. So they've been eating that. Now it is finished. But by the time it is finished, now I get the speaker. So I say, speaker, now we have tried our best. Now I'm bringing you. If you are to call the whole parliament to help, because me, I'm doing it by the way for the glory of God. I was seeing that God to do this to these people. These three children could be God having God's purpose. Amen. I said I will stand with them whenever they hello, take a hundred, you can buy some more milk. Amen. So we've been trying. Now finally, I'm so glad that God has led me to the Speaker of Parliament, and all of you parliamentarians have got to rise up and make sure that these people will live. Even where they stay, the houses, the clothes, it is a big challenge. Mm -hmm. But I want to thank God who has finally led me here. Thank you so much, Honorable Matembe. And uh, I want, first of all, in a special way, in a special way, I want to thank Haji. In most cases, when men get these challenges, they run away. I want to thank him so, so much for not running away from this lady because they get challenges and they leave the women to suffer alone. And I'm happy he has been tolerant and he appreciated what God gave him. And uh, since you came to us, we'll be able to support where we can. These are very innocent souls, and they were brought in by, it was God's plan. You can never say no to God's plan. And uh, as I said before, and as you've said, this may be a blessing to, to us. This is a blessing to us. You will find this will be the next speaker of parliament. I tell you, yes, you better this will take pictures <laughs> and write the book. This will be story. a next speaker of parliament. So you find these beautiful kids, you see this girl here. Now we've even carried her and she has kept quiet. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can even baptize her. Yes. <laughs> so, so we really want to thank God for these children, for this family. We'll be able to help them where we can be able to help. And um, don't neglect them. Try your best to work hard. All of us came from a very hard life. Nobody came from like a very peaceful life, we had everything. We all came from very hard lives. You, you need to know where we came from. So you need to work hard as a mother, as a father, work very hard to make sure that you sustain these children. Never leave these children to suffer. And where we can be able to, to support, we'll give you one of our officers, Honorable uh, Mr. Rajab, there to be able to always coordinate and find out how best we can support these children. And as a, as a mother and a father also, you need to be very active. Very active in a way that you must work. You will not stay at home and say, let me get donations. No, 
work and make sure that you get money for the children. I am told Madam said she can do some small business of we selling charcoal. Uh, she can do those. Mo no, they have already had a talk with my people. Okay. So she can do some small business. So for us, we want to give you, this is 10 million. 10 million, go and do something. Go and do something. And I also want to advise you to do family planning. Uh, you have already, uh, do family planning. Eh? You go near, they take your picture. Go near speaker, they take your picture so that uh, the girls can be. And two are girls, Madam Speaker. Two are girls, the other one is a boy. Bring the other one. So you need to do something to sustain the family. And when you sustain the family, that's when. Which of them Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, to Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, let him see us People are dropped back to their home, and I'm told even the other children have nowhere to sleep, not even a mattress. Kindly, can you get at least some mattress blanket for the, for the children? Mubutufu natia. Nene ngamba haa. Ngo musajia njaguma. Mbele wu. Neo li ingi hao. Eni biesi nejia. Eni biesi weyajia. Nibajie wake wangi. Nibanda bako. Mba andi hao. Ngandaba. Madame Matembe. Ngaze. Ne Madame Matembe. Banaye naba na uwe mula babwe bafana na. Madame Matembe. Ilaya tutusiza na wano. Adam Matemba Bana Babe, Abala Bidida, Eda Neyan Ziza, Neyan Zege, Ze Chino Chiroto China, Lisma Intina, Wanumba de Silabanganao, Ne Madame Matembe, Yande Seo, Nay Neyan Ziza Neyan Zege, Abra Challenge Genina, Ntiwendi, Wafunda, Awakawangi, Never in Funa Yak Capital, Obani Funa Wengula, Akabanya. Chivanya Muchare, we should deco and a campala. Means Okuya, Nenima, no Muchiavana, never be out. No Gunenun de la Cobuzi, Obococo, Nay Wendy, Wafunda, Ataba, and Mungu Yea Vampa, Atenga Sina, Wakorachi, Wakubateka, Chenvanga, Babana, Bulia Inaka, Inaina, and Zero Kiride, Berenga Funa, our Gaziko, when Kumida Van. Nay, Madame Speaker, Nay. Nenzo kwa banga tima dama tima ndi sewa no bana yeye yanziza yeye yanzige kaimwa na 
Madam Speaker, omu kati manyanti mwana uo. Yoyo mkuwa te, zenjambe ranga mkuma, oyo woku te, uo. Elakati, okufakati, funeri nyari omu tuuma, galidyo. Aha, ya nikati ya wada kutte kano. Kano kama ni kefu akura wakati nanga kakutte. Elo lawa po mkutte na asirika. Zeke njini ambate nga akaba. Nebu o inao babu omu sisiri zo. Manyebi ntu vya katundu. Vizivu nyo. Ana vya no vya vya nge. Hajo ya gala kubera. Kampala mtao ni obo solo kubera. Na kubanga mama. Asolo kuteka, asolo ku, kutu ale uwe bukede ya. Nobela awantu wa walunji. Na kuwe taka. Nobela ne uosolo kubela anga wakazinga kuwa detake bukede ya. Mujia kuogela kusongeyo ne rajabu. Then rajabu ajakuwa mama feedback. Uh, first of all, we don't own land in Kampala to say let's give him land, let him build. But we are very rich in land. If he's willing to leave the city and get out of the city, we can give him land, support him, and uh, he has where to live with the children. Yeah? You cannot start staying in, uh, in those slums of, of, of the city. Yeah. All of us, you see some of us grew up from the village. We grew up from the village, digging, doing all those things. These children must grow up somewhere and come back to Kampala when they are able. Yes. What, what, what a great offer. That one is just amazing. Anyway, what can I say? When I started off, I was breaking down. Remembering sadness. Now somebody helped me to break down with tears of joy. Because for me, as I said, the moment I saw those children and I got, I felt the instinct within me, I thought, God, <laughs> you know the stories in the Bible, the Moses, the whatever, when they put him in, you know, in the ocean, at, in the lake. He had to be in the lake. These stories, God is amazing. He doesn't just do things amazing like that for nothing. And what was also amazing to me, you know, if, if Mama, maybe if Mama had not gone, the one we are saying goodbye to, if he had not gone, I wouldn't have now got with this speaker immediately. And, and she got this kind, you know, we are talking about how love of mama, consider caring. And within that atmosphere, I meet her. Now we get concerned with these children. And madam, I want to thank you so much. I want to thank you so much. And I want the public to know. That's why one of the reasons we want women in positions of responsibility in leadership in these high positions. Because women are human. I'm not saying you men forgive me. I'm not saying men are not human. But you remember at creation, men could not talk. When God created Eva and the man looked at Eva, the man started talking. We brought life. Women bring life. And since they bring life, they are so concerned about life, they are so emotional with life, and they are able to take decisions that really would improve humankind. That's why we struggle for this gender equality and women's empowerment. And so, Madam, me, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that you are in this chair. And I was able to reach you, and you responded with that kind of love. And we begin first allowing us to meet you and to see these people. It is not easy. Maybe if it was a man, you would have said, ah, take them this, take them this amount of money or something like that. But because she's, she's a mother, she says, let me see. And now the spirit of motherhood, now the spirit of motherhood has caught up with her. Thank you so much. I want to thank your staff that the immediate took an immediate action. In fact, this morning I was supposed to meet my son who had an appointment. I said, no, you wait, I can meet you later. Let me first sort out the, the children. So, Mama, I thank you so much for the milk that you have given us today. 
Thank you so much for the startup, the milk, because the, the, the food was already finished. Now you have empowered us and strengthened us with food. Thank you. And I want to thank you so much for the offer, the proposal you are giving, because that would now take, I'm selfish now. Now they will be near you more than me so that you will be meeting all the challenges. But thank you so much. And I'm thank sure you. you are going to talk to your parliament actually so that they can also come along and support. They get thank blessings. You. by you. And may you be blessed more. I'm not saying With you get triplets. three. I don't know no, you already. For... You first. Hey, may no. you have them. Amen. May you have them in the name of Jesus because you already have two. Now you will get four. Then, ah, wonderful. Thank you so much, Thank you. members. Thank you much, so much, the press. Because if you had not put this man on TV, you would never have known. I thank God. God, thank you so much for blessing your children. And we bless them. We bless these children that they will grow up to be great men and women mm. of destiny to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. I was just telling my director that uh, these kids need milk. The three children cannot breastfeed from one person. So, Rajab, now that you know the home, you should be taking those kids' milk weekly. No, there's cow, there's cow get this, uh, that one. Uh, so he will be delivering milk for them weekly until they stabilize when they can be able to eat. I want to thank you so much, the press. I want to thank you, uh, the, the mother and the father of the triplets. I want to thank you so, so much for coming over and bringing the babies here, uh, Honorable Matembe and the Honorable Members of Parliament. I want to thank you for coming over. Let's support these children. This is the next generation. This is the next generation. And for them coming over at this time when we are in grief may be a blessing for us as parliament. They are a blessing and, you know, a kid is a blessing to us. And as I said before, let's not curse God that why did you do this? Let's just praise and thank God that God thank you for the children that you've given us. Uh, even when we are not able to look after them, they will always look after themselves. There will always be a way. Where there is no way, where they, it seems to be the, that there is no way, there will be a way. Because if there was no way, we wouldn't have known this. So there will always be a way. God will protect these children, take care of them, and they will grow up as very powerful ladies and powerful men. Let's just join hands together and support God's creation. And I want to thank you so, so much. And may the good Lord bless all of you. And most especially bless the babies.